Hey guys! Okay, so today we're going to be doing a back to school video and this video is a collaboration with my girl Kaz, the organized clutterbug. Kaz is so cool. So check out her video too because she's going to be doing five tips for back to school. So, but my video is going to be, I'm going to be showing you some of the spaces that I'm going to use to organize back to school this year. I'm going to be showing you my entryway where I try to wrangle everything for the girls and then I'm going to show you an organizing space where I will wrangle uh, paperwork that comes home from school along as long as well as our mail and stuff so hopefully you'll get some good tips now why I chose to do this area is because of last year the girls went to kindergarten for the first time but I was not prepared for the amount of paperwork that comes home with these kids so this year I wanted oh let me show you a picture of what <laughs> Um, our entryway looked at like throughout the year because it was just so much paper with mail and everything this became like a drop zone so this year I wanted to get it organized and I'm going to show you exactly what systems I'm going to use this year to keep everything organized and safe so let's get started okay guys so this is the top I tried to make it to where we will be stay organized and stay on task so when the girls come home and they have their folder i'll take out their folders put them here and i have the pencils pens whatever to sign their paper every day and whatever the case might be i also have this little laugh palette sign which is actually a diy project from my subscription box homemade lux so we made this in august actually um, and this is a this kit is available if you want to make this too i'll put the link below but on the inside i put cash uh only like ten dollars cash so don't come in and try to rob me or anything but it's for like when the girl scouts are selling cookies or the kids around the neighborhood are selling something and i need like a few dollars to buy something from them there's always a little bit of cash in there this is just decorative of course and this my husband when he comes home likes to take off his watch and his rings so this is the ring he wears when he exercises if you guys have never seen these you should really get them it, you, you can exercise with them and he so he doesn't have to go to the, the gym ring free okay <laughs> very important stuff so again here we have the scissors a letter opener because this is also where we, we open the mail so this is where we put mail if we get it and we're not ready to open it at this very moment then we'll use the letter opener and we'll open it and whatever action needs to happen happens from here the trash can because for some reason I put a trash can here because for some reason I, I never take the 10 extra steps it takes to put the trash in the kitchen <laughs> so I just put a trash can there so immediately I can just tr trash any uh, mail that comes in that I don't need so when there's something that needs to be followed up on I can put it here in the mail like if I read it and it's something that my husband needs to see I'll put it here and then he can read it from here and then over here is like follow-up so say the girls have a form that I need to do something with or there's mail that I need to call or something this is where I'll put it so that I'll know that there's action that needs to be taken and this should be empty at all times if I'm doing my job right here is where I'm gonna keep all the girls folders so all the stuff that I want to keep that comes home from work that they do I'm gonna put them in here they each have their own folder and then I'm gonna toss what I don't need and then I also have stuff like to file or to do and then in the back I have a home management binder it's just this is a home management binder this is available on my website and it just has uh, a whole bunch of printables for all of these different things so um, from goals to babysitter information to passwords to important contacts to the replacement schedule for everything in your house to home maintenance to weekly daily and deep cleaning and spring cleaning checklist all of these things are available on my blog. I have, I'll put a link below so you guys can see it, but all of these print bowls are available to our favorite meals. I love this section because it allows me to just go here and see what I might need to cook. I always forget about certain things. So that is in here too. Here, I just like having a notebook because um, I always need to jot down a note or write a note to a teacher or whatever. This is a to-do list. 
and I got this because there's always like something, hey, I'm gonna be late tonight because in these drawers that this uh, kit has, so on this side is my husband's side and he puts, when he comes in, he puts his keys and whatever else he needs to in here. And then over here on my side, I put my keys and everything in here so that it stays organized. No keys or anything are on the tabletop and everything stays nice and cute. So that is my organization station here that I hope will stay nice and organized this year. Okay, so this is in our entryway right off of our front door. And this is where the kids come in. As soon as they come in, they take all their stuff off. So they take their backpacks and they put them on the hooks. They take their lunch kits and they put them on the hooks. And the backpacks are from Pottery Barn and the lunch kits are from Land's End. And then this um, organizational bench I got from Target and I put, it's actually three separate um, cushions on the top and I just took some duck cloth and I just like literally did it like if I was folding a gift gift wrap and something and I just pinned it together so these are just pinned together all three cushions just to give that colors put our color scheme there and then I made this bulletin board with the same color so that it would all kind of match and blend so I also I have a DIY on my blog on how to do both of these but they're very simple this is just a bulletin board from Target and then I wrapped it in the fabric and added some upholstery nails so just something decorative, pictures of the girls, and then this is also a drop zone, so if there's something that I don't wanna forget in the morning, I'll put it in here, and then hopefully I see it before I leave out. And then here we just have our dandy family schedule, what we want to achieve every day. So we don't get home till 6.30, so I want the girls to go straight into snack and homework. And then at seven, we do dinner. 7.30, they do their chores, which is down here. These are the chores that I want them to do every single day. And when it says make snack and make lunch for school, I'm doing that, but they're helping me. But it just gets them into the, they're sick. So it just gets them into the thing of they can do it themselves eventually. And Lord knows I cannot wait for that day. So this is just where they can see what they need to do. And then this is just um, the, the um, school district calendar so that I know when the holidays and everything else, teacher and service and whatever. And then this is just a calendar. I will have a prettier one, but this is the one that their summer camp gave them. So I just kind of like to use this one because it's easy to tell what day is a field trip or where they're going to a different camp that week. I just write it all in there. And then for the school year, I'm going to do the same thing. So I remember when, you know, soccer and dance and whenever, whatever is going on. So yeah, so these are the two things. The next thing is the shoes. This is where we keep all of their shoes because it's just so much easier than having their shoes upstairs. So whatever outfit they have on, when they come downstairs, they just choose shoes that work and they can put up their shoes themselves and they can get out their shoes themselves. And then right next to that is actually our laundry room. And when they come home from school, they take off their shoes and put them here. And then they go into the laundry room and they put on their, they put their socks in the washing machine. So those are the two organizational things that we have for them to do. And that's the things that I hope and pray. I hope and pray those will keep us organized this year. Hey guys, so as a part of the Keeping It Real Chronicles, I want to show you that across from that perfectly um, organized space is all of this monstrosity. There's a whole lot of monstrosity and destruction and messiness in my house too. So <laughs> I love to keep it real with you guys. There's twins fighting in the background. There's lights from when I was trying to film this for you. And there's a whole lot of mess and a lot of dishes to go wash. So I, I like to do this because I know on YouTube you guys get to see the perfect stuff, but believe me, we are all struggling to keep it together. <laughs> really, Peyton? We're always keep striving to make sure that our homes are perfect and they never are. So don't beat yourself up, but get started on organizing your, for back to school, guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time.